three I know it for sure. So four. Three. Four. Four? No, three. Three. I don't even know, but if I had to put a number on it, I would say maybe like four or five. Probably. I think she's had about three. I know that you've had uh, two serious relationships. I'm pretty sure you have many more, but I'm going to go with two because of the, those are the two I know of and I know are serious. Uh How many boyfriends has my had? Probably three. I only say that because I think she probably was popular in school, but I don't think any of the uh, boys would have been able to handle her. <laughs> so three, yes. I would say she's like a kitten. She's soft and sweet on the outside, but she's really feisty. Bobcat. Because? She's feisty and mean sometimes. Sometimes. She is... I don't know. I don't know. Cat. Because when she's nice, it's all cute and cuddly, but when she's mean, things just come out. Mm -mm. I think the best animal that describes her is a dolphin. They are friendly and social, which is what she is. She can fit into any group anywhere. Um, they're intelligent and they're easygoing. She's always down to do anything. I believe you're a jaguar because I know you're you're very strong and independent, but yet not as they say super fast like a cheetah or as super strong as a lion. So I go with the jaguar. An animal I think my would be would be uh a lion because they're normally pretty chill until you pretty much poke them or mess with them and then they get pretty ferocious so yeah is sporty she's outgoing and she's smart Committed, driven, and caring. Annoying. Athletic. And annoying. Uh, athletic, competitive, and hardworking. She's unique. She's one of a kind. You can't find anybody out there like her. She's independent. She doesn't need anybody. And she's very understanding. And that's why a lot of people always go to her. would be her phone, a knife, and a pot. For sure would be a pot, a knife, and a lighter so she could cook. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know. First would be Rob, her phone, and money, because that'd be a trip to Hawaii. <laughs> I think Mai has some sort of zombie survival kit, and that would be one thing that she would take with her. Um, the second item would be a Hmong knife, because Hmong knives can cut through anything. And then the third thing I think she would take with her is, um, I know she won't be able to survive without spicy Hmong peppers. Obviously a knife, a pot, or some seasonings, because she loves to cook. And she definitely taught me some stuff too, so. Football. Football. And football. <laughs> no clue. She hides it so well, you wouldn't even know. I think her hidden talent is that she's very creative and she can DIY anything. Say, you know how to tie a very, very strong knot. So I've seen that before, so I would go with that. Pretty good at playing sports. Because she's well-coordinated, 
She also plays Call of Duty. I didn't know that. That's crazy. Well, at least on her phone. Denzel Washington. My nigga. <laughs> My celebrity crush would be Tyrese. Sweet lady, won't you be mad? <laughs> Tyrese Gibson. And that's it. Crush? Don't have the slightest clue. There's a celebrity crush, I would say Will Smith. Keep my wife's name out your f***ing mouth! Celebrity crush, I would have no idea. Because I don't, I haven't really been around too much, so I don't. A uh, basketball player? Ballerina. <laughs> she wanted to be a marine biologist when she's when she was younger, but she used to roller skate a lot in our front yard. So I thought she wanted to be like a figure skater, but no, that didn't happen. Uh, I think when she was little, she wanted to be a marine biologist. Uh, I know that you wanted to be a teacher when you were super super young. That was kind of the default for all of us, I believe. So I'd go with the cheetah uh, with, with a teacher. I don't know because I honestly don't remember too much of our childhood together, at least. I would say her mother-in-law. And it would be Rob's mom, of course, because she's practical and sweet. We love you, Mrs. Andrews. Hmm. Harold? I'm I can't hear you. Hmm? Okay. Who's my favorite in law? Why? No clue. And why? No clue. I don't think she has a favorite in law. I think everybody is different and everybody kind of brings something different to this family and that's why we all love each other. I would say, I'm going to cheat her and say everyone because as far as I know, you get along with everyone. So I'm going to cheat and say uh, everyone. Who's the best singer? That would be none of us. Who's the best singer? Diana. Of course. <laughs> Nobody, none of us can sing for to save our lives. Who is the best singer? Probably Donna. Um, singer question? Definitely you, for sure. I can't say because I haven't heard everybody sing before. So, and most of the guys in the family are probably too shy to sing, so can't say. And my favorite childhood memory of us is going to William Land Park on Fridays and Saturdays and playing in the dirt and the leaves and climbing the trees, playing Chinese jump rope, volleyball, soccer, football. That was fun. Okay, bye. It would be playing soccer and volleyball at William Land Park. Happy birthday, Lao. We love you. Happy birthday. Hey, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Auntie Lao. Say happy birthday. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Climbing the tree when you <laughs> fell over and was it new? I don't know. One of them. And the one that your dad was trying to hit you? No. No, not that one. Okay. One thing uh, that was great was my parents used to have this big. We had this big backyard where my parents would grow corn. We would run, hide, hide and seek in those cornfields. It was a lot of fun.
be when we were little. Our parents used to take us to William Land Park and um, meet up with our cousins. And we would just go out there and roam the park. We would do everything from climbing the trees, playing Chinese jump rope. And um, we used to build little fake houses with the grass that they used to cut and just pretend to be a family. So I really miss those times. But um, <clears throat> just wanted to say happy birthday, Lao. We love you and we wish you um, a great birthday with many more years to come. Of those very, very early years where you were still taller and mom and dad would take us to William Land Park where uh, we would all play together. I, I still have those memories of you guys being very, very small, you and new, particularly when you were very, very young and as taller. So that's the, uh, the one I would go with. Happy birthday. Bye. Just going to the park and normally playing around the house, but yeah, I, I don't remember 